We just got a 2013 F800 GS. We've completely outfitted it with all the Turatec parts and now we're taking it out for an epic ride. We made arrangements with BMW to get this bike as early as possible so that we could test it by putting all of the Turatec parts on and just get a sense for it. One of the things we do at Turatec is we talk to customers who are thinking about what bikes they want to buy, either on the phone when they call or we see them at trade shows and they're trying to figure out what's the right bike for them. So we like to get the experience on it, know what the new features are like and we can help customers make uh, informed choices about what motorcycle to buy. The F800GS is a great motorcycle and turtex has got some, some parts and some accessories that allow it to become a real long distance travel motorcycle with a pannier system and tank bags and all the protection items. We take a good motorcycle and make it a great motorcycle for long distance travel. For the 2013 F800 GS, Turatec's got a complete line of accessories. We have the Zega Pro pannier system, we have a rapid trap top case system, we've got crash bars, tank bag, all the usual bits to protect the bike and give you a good luggage options for, for carrying all the gear you need to for long distance traveling. For the 2013 F800 GS, Turatec has gone back to the drawing board and completely redesigned the skid plate. So we have a very robust skid plate now that covers all the critical areas. It's, it's welded, it's heavy gauge aluminum, and it also has some plastic sliders across the bottom. So it's unlike anything you've seen, and we're really excited to have this signature item for this motorcycle. Turtec has a smoked tall windscreen for the F800 GS. It's got a nice tint to it, it's darker, so it looks uh, really nice with the white bike and it accents some of the black parts on the motorcycle. It's tall, it creates a nice bubble of wind protection, reduces buffeting, and it's very comfortable on the highway. Turtec has a new line of foot pegs for almost all the adventure models. It's called the Works Foot Peg. It's a much wider platform and I've been riding with them today and they're very comfortable. It's a nice large platform. You can still operate the brake and the shifter comfortably and it just feels much better standing up for long distance than the stock pegs. Touratech has two different size top cases for the F800 GS. There's a 38 liter and the 25 liter. They're available in three colors. There's silver anodized, black anodized, and a raw aluminum, and they all come with a rapid trap option. So it's a quick release system that allows you to snap it onto the bike easily, and you can also just release and remove it in seconds. BMW really did it right with the F800 GS, but after a few years, there were some customer complaints and some things that weren't um, ideal in some people's view. And one of them was the suspension that a lot of people found to be a little bit soft, uh, especially for off-road riding or riding at, at speed. And so BMW has addressed that with the new 2013 model by giving it an ESA suspension. So you actually have three different adjustments. And I can tell already after only a few hours of riding off-road, I haven't bottomed the bike out yet. And on the older model, it was common to bottom them out unless you had some aftermarket parts uh, on the suspension. So I think they've really done a good job addressing one of the biggest complaints about the older bikes.
The F800 GS is a great bike for a, a wide variety of terrains. Uh, it's actually quite fun in the city. It's a good uh, grocery getter if you have uh, tight parking areas and things like that. It's really flexible. Uh, it's also fun on the twisties and mountain highways and things like that where you can go long distances. It's got a good fuel range and it's a lot of fun. And then if you see a dirt road off to the side, you can hit it and this bike can go just about anywhere through sand and rock. Uh, we just did a river crossing here and it does those just fine because it's got the taller travel suspension and it's uh, just ideally suited for a wide range of terrain.